the Lily Damon storyline uh, evolve. You'll see it evolving over the next few episodes, and you'll see um, Bonnie being a support system for Damon, um, whereas I feel like the old Bonnie would have definitely not gone along with any of his plans. I think you'll start to see um, Bonnie taking things into her own hands to do uh, things to support Damon. Um, but you won't, uh, the Lily storyline has a, has a way to go before it kind of reaches its kind of culmination situation. There's a really cool flashback um, episode for Damon coming up uh, in the not too distant future that um, really is, is incredible, really incredible. Some of Ian's best work ever, so I'm super excited for you guys to see that. That episode, it was episode 10 that a woman named Deb Chow directed. Um, she's a phenomenal director. It, you, ultimately, you really get to see where Damon Salvatore came from. And you get to see this profound relationship with his mother. You really get to understand where he, how he got to be the man he is. And it, that episode almost killed me. I lost six pounds from Monday to Friday. Um, it was, but it was magical. It was amazing. And it was the first time I'd ever, other than season one, maybe episode like three to maybe six or something. It was the first time I ever looked around this setup of this scene of this show with all the artisans and all the set and wardrobe and producers and writers and the director and <clears throat> the set deck and all the effects and everything and looked around and said, wow, this feels like we're literally shooting Saving Private Ryan or some big, giant, beautifully orchestrated. And it was the first time I ever looked around and said, wow, these people are working so hard that this episode should be submitted for every type of award because these people are working so unbelievably hard. Granted, I know this is a vampire teen soap opera, but I will tell you that episode, <clears throat> I hope and pray they cut it the way it read and the way we shot it because it was very, very, very powerful. It kicked my ass. Um, but it's an incredible episode. I think it's Obviously not because it was all me, I'm saying, <laughs> but it was the most beautifully, perfectly constructed episode. Um, I couldn't find one thing wrong with the script. I mean, it was literally just so powerful. So you, without giving anything away, yes, you will see some very, very cool, you'll, you'll go back in time and really see what happened to Damon. Um, and and then the episode when it leaves off, you see a profoundly disoriented, scared, sad man that you is just like a caged animal, and um, it's very cool. It's very 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 cool.